Hey, my YT friends and family. This is Sissy coming to you guys. I hope everything is going well with you. Everything is going good here. What I'm here to share with you guys is this. Never judge a book by its cover. And as you've seen in a couple of the photos before this video, you see my dining room set. Now, I can't remember the name of the dining room set. In fact, this just it just hit me to just do this. And I I don't know the name of it and I'm not I'm climbing up under the table to find out, okay? Because this thing is 26 years old. Mhm. Mm it, it's an old one. It's good. It's in great condition, of course. Thank God. And it was a good set. This was a discontinued set at a very nice store, okay? So, let me get to the story. Your girl went with her kids shopping. I was looking for a dining room table, and my husband and I had just moved into this house, and it's got an open concept um, from the living room to the dining room. And I wanted something that blend it, it blended in with all of the other um, furniture. So I knew what I was looking for. I, I knew what I was looking for, but every place I went, I couldn't find it. But your girl had saved up her coins and she was on the hunt for it. And it had to be the right one. So what happened after doing housework all day Saturday, I took my boys and I also had my one niece who used to hang out with us all the time. She spent the night over and I had her with me. Now, mind you, this I'm 57, okay? So this is 26 years ago and I used to be real skinny, okay? So I might have been weighing in at... I don't even know if a hundred pounds, okay? If it was a hundred, I'd say a buck go foe. <laughs> so anyway, I and plus I always I was young then and I look younger. I always look like I was in high school. Always. For a long time, I should say. But anyway, back to the story. I had cleaned the house and I said, okay, kids, we're going out to um, do a little grocery shopping, get a little McDonald's, maybe go look for that, you know, furniture set that I was looking for, my dining room set. So what happened? We did just that. So now remember, I'm about a buck four, buck oh four, okay? Had my hair just pulled back. I didn't have any makeup on. Clean though, okay? I was clean. Had t-shirt and jeans on. I had uh, my kids with me who were very clean, looking good. But it looked like your girl just, it was just her with three kids. I know what they were looking at, okay? That's what it, it looked like, this poor child just coming in here. You know, this, this sweet little mother, you know, just coming in here who couldn't afford anything. So when I went into the furniture store... I'll never forget, it was a group of salesmen. And really, they were supposed to greet me at the door, but they didn't do that. But I was fine with that because I didn't want to be bothered, okay? But they didn't do that. So the it was another guy who came on the floor. I come to, come to find out he was the general manager. He came on the floor, and then one hurried up and came over to me and asked if he could help. And so the general manager was coming over because because he seen that he did it. So he was there as well. So I had said, hey, I, when I seen this dining room set, it was perfect. It matched. It was what I was looking for. I didn't want the full set with and the full set of a dining room. You've got your tables and chairs, of course. You've also have your hutch and usually usually you have a buffet. I didn't have the room for that, nor did I want that. I wanted this one that I have that I showed you guys. I I knew it was the right one for my home. So anyway, I asked him. I said, "Hey, I like this set. I want this set." And the other gentlemen who were should have been working, okay? They were over there and they kind of giggled. And the general manager said, honey, you want this set? I said, yes. I said, this is the set, I'm done. This is the set right here. I didn't ask any price. That was the set. I knew what kind of prices that they had anyway. 
I knew I wanted it. And, and thank God I could afford it, okay? And I didn't um, finance it. It was cash, okay? I can't remember the price now because it's been so, it's been 26 years ago. I can't remember. But anyway, what happened? They kind of giggled when I said, I want this one. And I said, the only thing about it, I have to, um, I want my husband to see it as well. And so they said, oh, he's, the general manager said, okay, okay. And I could see the guy, I heard the guys like kind of snickering and laughing, you know, kind of off to the side behind my back. So they thought, you know, that I didn't hear it and I heard it. So what happened was the general manager, cause I said, wait a minute, how much is it again? And he gave me, he said, hold on, honey. He took his business card out and wrote the amount on the business card, okay? And also initialed it. Okay? 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 Okay. So anyway, I I couldn't believe the price that he gave me. I I, I just could not believe it. I cuz I had been searching around high and low. So what happened when I told my husband, he's like, "Really?" He said, "From there?" He said, "Okay, we're going to go check it out because even though I'll buy things on my own, he'll do, we, we, as a family, we come together. He and I have always done this for things for the home. We come together, we go out shopping for pictures, anything we go, we do it together. So anyhow, he said, okay, then he said, I'll, you know, we'll go. We'll, we'll, he said, we'll go. So anyway, now remember, I, I heard them snickering, okay? I, I knew what they were thinking. Honey, this mother, this little single mama who ain't got no money uh, with all these children, okay? I know what they was thinking, but honey, <laughs> the girl stepped up on them, honey. I put on, you know, okay, I, I ain't gonna tell y'all where I work, but anyway, I, honey, I, I, bought, I got it together and honey, let the hair down. And when we got there, okay, they were like, what? And I don't want to brag, but when my husband pulled up in the Cadillac, hi, how can we help you? Who, huh, hello, we're, hi, how, what do you need? Are we, look, all these, okay? So anyway, I'm just walking in and I walked right to that table. I said, I want this table. Cause I was mistaking then, honey. Look, y'all done, y'all didn't know who y'all was messing with. I walk right to that table the whole time. They just, can we help you, my husband? And you know, can we please? How, how can we help you? What um, are you looking for? Something? But I wasn't. We weren't looking for nothing. Then I got over to that table. I said, I want this table set right here. And it really wasn't sold as a set, but I wanted the set. Okay. And they didn't have the buffet. I didn't want the buffet because it wouldn't have fit. I said, I want this right here. And they were like, okay, we'll get you to, we'll get it. So then they proceeded to, to check, in, in order to check me out, I had to go up to this counter. I, I don't even know if they do that anymore. Anyway, they were like talking about finance. Ain't nobody asked you about no finance and nothing. And so anyhow, remember, I, look, girl, her hair down now. I said, finance for who and he said oh i didn't know if you want to finance it because of the price i said no i told you i came to purchase it so anyway he said okay so after they rang, rang me up oh my gosh it was a lot of money okay it was too much too it wasn't the price that they quoted me so I said, oh, wait a minute. That's not the price that I was quoted yesterday. And he said, you were in here yesterday? And I said, I sure was. And I said, um, it was a general manager in here. And he gave me a price. And so anyway, they it, the other manager, because the general manager, he came from another area. He was just visiting all of the stores. So they bought out their manager. They were like, it's no way that this could be that price. And I said, that's the price that he gave me. And y'all know how I keep my purses. I, I keep everything, but you know, stuff be hard to find. So <laughs> y'all don't know my husband. He, he don't play. He is not to be played with. So what happened, my husband knew what I heard. And he said to me, he said, what purse did you have? And I said, I had this one. He said, dump it on the table, honey, dump it. 
okay? So I dumped the purse, and it was a bucket purse, okay? I dumped it, everything, everywhere, and guess what was there? That business card. And the business card had the amount that the gentleman said, if I came back, I could get it for with his initials. So the manager is like running around. The other salespeople who, you know, were busy giggling, they were all together and they were just like, oh, what is, you know, they didn't know what was going to happen. And we were there just cool. I was putting everything in my purse. I was waiting because look, they had to sell it to me. So what happened? They called the general manager and he remembered me and he remembered everything. And he said, because I was up there near the phone, he said, I, he said, she's right. I told her that. I wrote the amount and I signed it. He said, go ahead and sell it to her for that amount. You Don't judge this book by its cover. Don't judge any of the books by their covers, okay? Don't judge me. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys because as I looked at my um, dining room table, I just had to, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Never judge a book by its cover. You know, you look at someone in one way and think a different, you know, think that maybe someone's not good enough or just think in general that you may know their life story. You don't know nothing. Okay. You don't know nothing. So don't judge a book by its cover. It may cost you, honey. <laughs> Y'all take care and be blessed. Bye now.